12 Futurecast. You know, we have some empty coffee cups over here. I think I'm going to practice at the commercial <laughs> break to see if I can do that. All right, let's get you to your current look at weather. And what we have here is a day which is very user-friendly. If maybe you're using the day to do some shopping before the big game, I'm actually using a wider perspective here because if I showed you a perspective that was too tight today, you wouldn't see much. I did want to show you where the snow will be going, and you can see it just stays to our north and west pretty much tonight through tomorrow morning, and then into Tuesday it remains quiet, not until late Tuesday morning. Perhaps during the commute do we have the next system moving in. We'll talk about that coming up in just a second. Mostly cloudy skies over the capital city right now, and we will see a fair amount of cloud cover today. Temperatures at 25. Winds are out of the south at 6 miles an hour. In Narragansett, we also have some clouds with our temperatures currently in the 20s. 29 in Newport, 33 westerly, 28 New Bedford, 33 Block Island, and 24 degrees in Smithfield. Very calm right now. 6 miles an hour in Providence. Many places showing no wind at all. Those breezes will pick up just before lunchtime, and then we'll see some gusts of around 20 throughout the afternoon. Should not be a big deal though if you do have plans to do those errands. Now notice on the satellite picture we have a few breaks in the cloud cover trying to show up but overall the clouds will win out with more clouds and sunshine. We now fast forward to Tuesday and notice our situation about 7, 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning. I do think this model does a very good job describing the situation with likely some rain showers along the south coast, perhaps a little bit of sleet mixing in, a wintry mix. So this could be sleet, freezing rain, or snow for the capital city, and then some snow or sleet for places like Woonsocket north and west of 295. So we may get a slushy inch or two of accumulation before a quick change over to rain. So by noontime, pretty much everybody's raining. The one exception could be when socket up here near the Rhode Island Massachusetts border where we hang on to some snow or sleet but I just don't see a lot in the way of accumulations maybe an inch or two north of Providence before that changeover from Providence down to the south coast really not much at all in terms of accumulation we'll keep an eye on this timing obviously there could be impacts to the morning commute if the sleet or snow comes in just around the time when people are trying to drive to work I do think the drive home will be a little slow because of the cold rain falling down and the winds will get pretty gusty as well as these milder temperatures and the rain continues into Wednesday although Wednesday doesn't look like a washout there will be periods of showers with those temperatures spiking into the mid 50s. Hard to believe that when we're sitting in the 20s right now. Today's forecast calls for low 40s by around noontime, 43 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, with those breezes around 10 to 15, a few gusts of around 20. In general, the rule will be a high around 40 for the south coast, 40 for Charlestown, 40 in Narragansett, and 40 in Wickford. Northern Rhode Island temperatures also in the upper 30s to around 40, with uh, 36 Burville, 38 in Woonsocket. Keep in mind, yesterday's high temperature was around freezing, so this will feel warmer than what we had yesterday. 40 for Seekonk, 40 in Fall River, and 40 in Taunton. Seven-day Futurecast shows that messy mix Tuesday changing over to rain, staying rain on Wednesday, getting up to 53 degrees. Could be potentially some black ice Wednesday night into Thursday as those temperatures drop. You can always get an updated Futurecast over on our website at 